A Southern Indiana housing agency looks for ways to keep the red ink in check following forced budget cuts. The Vincennes Housing Authority is trimming away after losing funding because of the federal sequestration. News 10's Mike Grant reports the agency is even cutting into the insurance to try and stay in the black. This is one of four housing operations under the Vincennes Housing Authority. The agency provides housing for seniors and low-income residents here. And like a lot of other agencies, it's looking for ways to refigure a budget cut by sequestration. It's going to be a tough year for everybody, not just the housing authority, but everybody that, you know, is in the government and covered under the sequester. This housing authority is going to receive 80% of its planned budget, and that means cutting some planned projects and improvements to cover part of the loss. The other part is dropping flood insurance, even though... Some facilities, like Bowman Terrace, could take a major loss if the levy should fail. You know, it's just one of those things. you got to find a way to make up that $60,000. That would be one place where we, would, we looked at that we, you know, just had to take our chances. Facilities like this one aren't the only ones that are feeling the impact of the federal sequestration. Vincent's Housing Authority also manages a Section 8 housing program, and the people who get vouchers for those low-income apartments are also being cut. We've lost some on our Section 8 program because the funds just have not been there for us to issue more vouchers. So right now we're about, we have 372 and we're down to about 300 vouchers out in the community. Housing officials say they don't intend to raise any rents, but will have to be even more careful than ever as they try to last out the year. In Vincennes, I'm Mike Grant, News 10. The VHA employs 25 people and officials say that even though no one will be getting a raise, they also plan no layoffs because of the federal cuts.